G'day comrade and welcome back to the Republic with me, G'day, welcome back to Like and Grill, our wonderful, profitable, profitable food factory, well, mm, crop factory, crop factory, yes, we process crops here into all sorts of things, ranging from food to fabric to clothing in the future and booze, can't forget booze, uh, th this is a wonderful little factory and more importantly it's profitable, well, mostly profitable, we're making some money, we're, we're turning all our crops that we're currently shipping in with trucks into, uh, well, food and then we're selling the food. We have a fabric factory that is just about finished, except, well, as always, we got down to the last work days, and then here in the Republic, the last man on the last work day, well, he didn't come back to work. It might have had something to do with the secret police, it might not have. Either way, it's fine, it's fine. I'm sure he'll show up to work tomorrow or in the future. Maybe he just went down the street for a, a bottle of vodka and a pack of cigarettes, and he hasn't been seen since. I don't know. Uh, either way, the fabric factory is just about finished, and that means we can start working in a clothing factory. On top of that, it also means that we are still waiting for the trains. We're still waiting for the train tracks to be placed so we can actually get trains in here servicing this whole building. If we get trains in here servicing this whole complex, we'd actually start turning a serious profit. But for us to get any of that done, I need to ask that very important question. That very important question, comrade, and that is, well, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like right at the start of the video. If you're not happy with the video, you didn't enjoy the video, the good news is we're missing one worker back there in the fabric factory, and I'm sure you can take over, you know, providing the secret police is perfectly happy with your outstanding performance. Yes, uh, we need to do a couple of things. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to track down our track builder and make sure you're on the job. You are on the job. Okay, uh, you are making some progress. You have just a couple of tracks left to do, and then we can get into our wonderful train depot. Now, the wonderful train depot is not finished building, being built. It has a few more things to do, um, like some bricks and some boards and some steel, and actually have tracks. Without the tracks, it's pretty useless. On top of that, you might notice a tiny little road depot here. A tiny little road depot here is here because, um, there used to be a mountain here, and uh, between episodes, because we're about to get winter, I've been busy removing a mountain. Yeah, I wanted a mountain removed because I need to plan for the future. That is the one thing about workers' uh, workers' resources. You need to be constantly planning for the next step, the next disaster, the next problem you're going to have. And I have about five problems I know that are going to come up and bite me in the not-too-distant future. I need to get to each one of them before they happen. So, the very first problem that we need to deal with is, um, well, the age of our vehicles. If we find uh, some wonderful vehicle. Oh. Uh, you, for argument's sake. You are, actually, you're a garbage truck. You're fairly new. Uh, oh, 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 uh, a cysteine. It's one of our original cysteines. He is 3.51 years old. He also has a wear and tear of 29%, which is okay. It's not too bad. Uh, but if we find, oh. Oh, dirty truck, dirty truck, uh, 29%. Actually, it's still not too bad. Where's somebody who's going to be working hard? Working hard. Uh, wear and tear, 37%. Yeah, you can see he's a little bit dusty around the edges. Yep. Yeah. Uh, eventually, our vehicle's going to break down. And that would be bad. I don't really want our vehicles to break down. I'd really prefer it if we could start repairing them before they break down. So that's the first thing I need to look at. I need to look at um, having some way to maintain our vehicles. And to do that, we need a maintenance office especially for vehicles. Hey, you're built. Okay, but can I buy a train? No, because there's no path to the customs house. You're getting close. You're getting close, which is good. Uh, okay, so uh, I need some way to maintain the vehicles. On top of that, I still need a few more things. One of my biggest issues with um, getting construction done is just the number of vehicles I don't have. Also, the border connection. The border connection is definitely, as you can see, still holding things up. I have moved a whole lot of things across to the Rusky border, uh, just so they're out of the way. Yeah, it's it's not fully covetous, but it's definitely helping. But um, there is there is definitely more things we can do. And um, well, one of the other things I'd like to do is I'd like to replace well this loading and unloading that we have here with something a little bit more streamlined. You know, something that involves a bit more of a chew. So uh, what we need to do is I need to clear some space. I need to plan out what, some way to maintain our vehicles. I also, now you're done, uh, need to make sure that we have room for fabric. We do have room for fabric. You have an internal buffer of 10 tons. And then you're gonna start loading into here. Meanwhile, our trucks are still bringing in uh, crops and taking away our food. And if we hover over this, we can see in our last month, August, August, we did make 16 grand with a profit. Very nice, very nice that we made a lot of profit. 
There's a catch with that profit. Uh, and that is economy and trades. Uh, last month, uh, I did import 55,000 rubles worth of stuff. A lot of that was crops, like 241 tons of crops. And my exports were here. Yeah. Uh, I did export about half the crops back out as food, which is about the ratio. If we look at one of these, we get 42 tons worth of crops in. We get 20 tons worth of crops out. 42 crop tons worth of crops in, which is 20 tons worth of food out. So we're basically negating, what well, we're basically exporting just about everything we're making. But on top of that, I have also removed food from my import list. Yeah, uh, if we look at this year, I did import food up until one point, but now we're no longer importing food. We're going to be replacing clothing, you know, once the actual clothing factory is up and built, which will be a minute. But once that's done, we'll, we'll replace that one as well. Uh, I do need to make sure you, no, you, uh, customs house, uh, like and grill. Okay, I need you to now drop off chemicals and I need you to now pick up chemicals as well because we're gonna start using chemicals to do our uh, fabric production. Okay, so we're still waiting on you to finish. The mouse is having issues. The game is having issues. I'm, I'm having some weird jittering that I'm not enjoying, but I need to plan out this. Whilst we're waiting on so many other things to happen, I need to plan out this. And to do that, I wanna do two things. The first thing I want to do before winter hits is I want to cancel roads and I want to remove uh, probably that section, uh, the, 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 that section and that section because I want to put a giant roundabout in here. Uh, we're going to come to here. I'm going to terrain tools, uh, clone, grab our roundabout, take it back over here. Uh, and we're going to want to put you... <sighs> See, this was built on the grid perfectly. And ever since it was built on the grid, I've never been able to place it back on the grid. I have a feeling when I copied it and put it over there, because it wasn't really originally built over there, uh, it had a bit of a boo-boo and everything slipped slightly. But since then, it's it's been a little bit difficult to put down all right i'm going to cancel roads actually they're not built so we're just going to cancel all three of those i'm going to run you through to here you through to here and you through to here cool then i'm going to remove the connect two pieces get all those yep, connected together and uh over here i'm going to trim things back and trim back you and trim back you and you and you uh because the very first thing i want to do is i want to create these the asphalt roads uh actually no i need to put in my spider web uh yep. there to there to i don't know it really doesn't matter just plug in something uh cool uh can i go build asphalt road uh there to there to there plus there to there to there plus there to there to there plus there, to there. Cool. Uh, enable all of that. At the same time, we're going to get the gravel boys to at least do one of these two roads. Cool. Uh, can I enable you as well? All right. So uh, that should give all the trucks something to do, at least, whilst we go back into planning mode. Uh, and now we're going to be rolling in the winter. Do I want to speed up the game? We're in September. Like, next month is winter. Um... You're being built, you're being built, you're set to low priority. I'm gonna crank you up to high priority and high priority. You're at medium priority, yeah. Yeah, and actually, no, there's one other one I wanna do, and that is you, I want you on high, I want you on high, and I want you on high, uh, actually. Medium fine, medium fine, and high. Yeah, okay, all right, so uh, we're gonna leave that. We're gonna go into a bit of clear space so I can do some planning because we need to talk about our next steps. No, actually, I need to do a research. I need to do a research, a very, very important research. We need to go to uh, the Lycanstock headquarters for the Republic and I need to research logistics optimization because we don't have access to distribution offices. Not yet, not yet. So I'm going to crank up the number of researchers on that. On top of that, we now have the option to um, make sure that only those loyal to the Republic can uh, either 
teach or learn. We currently have an average government loyalty of 45%, and the more loyal people I have in certain jobs, the more the overall average of the mm, society loyalty will increase. So I'm also going to do the same in here. We're going to crank you up to 40%. I'm going to crank you up to 40% as well. Uh, research in here, we did start on waste separation. Well, waste recycling, waste separation. We're going to continue down waste separation because at the moment, um, well, I can filter out a couple of these for like bio biological waste, but I can't get the houses to actually put biological waste in the biological waste bucket. Uh, I can get you, for argument's sake, you have... Uh, metal scrap, plastic waste, biological waste, 20%, but waste, other waste. The other waste is going to be hazardous because you have hazardous waste, which is just about overflowing, but the garbage truck just showed up. Uh, also going to give you two for biological waste. Uh, yeah, everybody else I've been through. Ah, here we go. See, you have dedicated waste or dedicated buckets for your biological waste from the clinic. Yep. Yeah, uh, you don't have... R r r loyalty you do have loyalty so we're going to take uh the school if you wish to be a teacher in the school you need to have a uh loyalty rate of at least 40 percent uh the kindergarten doesn't have a loyalty rate neither does the police funny enough uh but we do have 10 percent of cases were unexamined this year okay fine can we buy two more police cars uh the courthouse i can't make sure loyal people in the courthouse Seems like very unrepublic of you. Uh, I can make sure the secret police are definitely loyal because, you know, they're the ones checking the loyalty of all the people, so we should make sure that they're loyal to start with. Um, what else do we have? We have you, we have you, and then the prison. The prison I've already set up to 40% because the more loyal they are, the more they're going to positively impact the loyalty of, uh, well, the prisoners. Yes, that's going to be very, very important. Okay. Uh, we have a couple little roads going here because, well, I want to asphalt them out of the fire station because that seems reasonable. And we will... We have a train track. We have a train track. Okay. I want to buy a diesel locomotive. Uh, I have a couple of choices. Lots of different choices. Speed. I guess we can search by speed. So you do 80 kilometers per hour. You do 95. You do 97. You do 100, and you do 100 as well. Our steel train tracks, uh, concrete-based railway, have a speed of 150. I do have wood-based railway, which I haven't built any of, and I have electrical, which is also 150. But at the moment, I don't need a fast train, I just need a train. So we're gonna buy one of you. Now, when I buy one of you, you're gonna appear at the border. And then we're gonna have a little choo-choo train. Cool. Whilst we watch our little choo-choo train, we're going to click on the customs house. I'm going to need a couple of cargo wagons for you. Uh, I'm going to need box cars. Box cars are going to carry around our goods, uh, our, our, our crops, and these are going to hold 53 tons each. Considering the trucks we were using previously, and they hold 10 tons, this is a massive improvement. I'm going to go with one, two, three, four, five of them. Yeah, I'm hoping that's enough. Okay, you need to drive to the train depot before I can do anything with you. But, um, well, I'm gonna have you go back to there. I want you to load uh, vehicles, any type, any, any type. And then I want you to bring all the vehicles to there. Uh, customs house, and then, what? Go here. You should be able to go here. Uh, heading to the workplace. Uh, and that might need you to finish getting to the depot first. Maybe. Okay, crank up the game speed. Let's get you to the depot. Now, I don't have signals on the rails yet. Also, as you can see, I'm missing a couple of uh, uh, rails outright. But that should be fine. Uh, can I now tell you to bring mm -hmm. those locomotives to the depot? Yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to send you off on your route. And crank up the game speed and get you moving. You're a little bit low on fuel, but I'm sure we'll see to that in the future. Uh, train builders, gonna, track layer is going to keep running straight past you, and your acceleration is not great. Not great at all. And the inclines are probably not going to help. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. 
Uh, we need to get you into fuel, it turns out. Uh, yep. Pop up that tank. Uh, there goes a good 3,000 litres worth of fuel. Okay. Does that mean you need a new delivery? Yeah, probably not. I don't know. It, 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 it's measuring fuel in tonnes, which is the universal measurement for everything uh, in the game, but then you pick up litres of fuel. So, yes. Okay. You should pick up your wagon. So, one, two, three, four, five. Now, the problem is... This is not a train yet. It's not a fixed train yet. It's a train that has a job of picking up these wagons and then taking them to that depot. After they get to the depot, that's when I can actually build a constant of train and have that uh, train give it orders like to go and getting a whole lot of crops, take them to the market, well, to the warehouse, unloading them, and hopefully the workers will then make me a whole bunch of money. Also, at the same time, I can use the exact same train to load up a whole lot of food and take it to the customs house as well and hopefully make me a whole lot of money. That's the plan. So, with you parked in there, I'm going to open you and I'm going to put train, wagon, 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 wagon. Uh, we're going to delete this line. I'm going to give you a new order, which is to go to Vladivostok border to make Uncle Vlad happy. And then we're going to bring you to the Lycanagul cargo train station. Okay. I want you, when you go to the customs house, to load crops and also unload food. Then you're going to go to the Lycan Grill. I want you to unload crops, wait till unloaded, and I want you to load food, but I don't want you to be 100% full. I'm thinking 50%, 40%, 30%. It's not 30% of what's in the warehouse, it's 30% of what you can carry which is uh, 40 tons. Okay, now I say that out loud, we're gonna change it up to 40%. Okay, uh, we're gonna say go. Okay, you're gonna start doing that. Meanwhile, uh, research program finished, cool. Can I go here? Because uh, I need to, after I've done that, actually research that one, which will give me the distribution office. We're gonna increase that so nobody gets taught. Uh, all the students are gonna have to wait because uh, all the party officials are gonna be doing that research because they need that to happen now. All right, so my train should come over here and should go straight past and go and grab me a whole lot of crops. Now, you, I changed. I need to change you again. Uh, ooh. Uh, I'm gonna change you down to 25 and then clothing, you can have 10%, which is 80 tons worth. That gives me 200 tons worth of clothes. I don't really need 22 tons worth of fabric, but that is only 2% full. All right, you've picked up 268 tons of crops, which has cost me 5,000 rubles, and you're gonna promptly drop them off, well, right here. And you should unload very quickly. We should see this number skyrocket. Uh, yep. Which should let you kick into high gear. Uh, custom town. Going to bricks with workers. Okay, you were dropping off workers. Oh, to do this. Uh, this factory connection is not done, and actually, that factory connection is not done either. All right, and you've now left with 67 tons worth of food, which has made me back eight grand. Yeah, that's less than half, and we almost broke even. But just importantly, you should be able to unload just about instantly because it's a train rather than a truck and then reload up with crops and come back and rinse and repeat. And I still have trucks. I still have trucks going back and forth. I don't want to remove the trucks just yet. I do, but I don't have anywhere, anything else they can do currently. Well, I could have them. No, I can't really have them sell because they have the same problem. They're just going to sell everything. I need to have a distribution office so that way I can have them say, hey, sell this much, you know, if you're over 30% full, then go pick up stuff and then go sell it. Uh, otherwise, don't touch it. Uh, okay, but you're gonna come back. You are gonna dump everything and you're set to wait to unload it, which means you're gonna unload just about instantly. And then you're gonna go back and try again. You go. Whatever food was here, which was not a lot, which means I'm probably gonna change it down to 20%, because uh, you are not running at full speed. Uh, because we have workers, 
over here laying bricks yes laying bricks and we have two cranes on that one so that one's gonna be really fast uh you know what uh can i see you 119 yeah okay uh you're loaded back up with props it's another five grand spent uh but uh, last month, we exported 23,000 rubles. So we're making some money. Sure, I have just recently spent $112,000 on vehicles. Yep. Yep. No, 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 don't, don't talk semantic, semantics with me yet. We'll, we'll get there. Okay. The important thing is, I want to get you into a state where you're no longer... Well, the train can't fully unload. That's the point we're looking for. And I think it's going to be this load. Okay, so you're now stuck. You can't fully unload. So because you can't fully unload, you're going to hang around until you can fully unload. And then you're going to load up 20% with food. Now, I need to hopefully make sure this is some food in here to make sure that we can keep, because we're using this food to take it to our own uh, warehouses. Also, we're using the same food source for prisons. So I need to keep an eye on that, but uh, your next unload will, should be even slower. Well, yeah, slower. Slower is the word I'm going to go with. Yeah, all right. So you're being built. You have a bunch of workers on site who is missing concrete. Awesome. Uh, you're working. You're working. I need to cut you down to 50 because even if you're built, you only need to run at half speed to fully support this. I do need to have this built. It would help if, um, you know, that factory connection between the two was built so, you know, we could move things across. All right. So, uh, back to you. You're so close to almost being done. And none of those materials are on site. But hopefully there's our first truck. They should be here soon. You are going to be bringing over bricks, boards. Oh, no. The steel went there instead. Boards. Okay, whatever. You should be done reasonably quickly. All right. Back to these jobs. So, this is partially done. This is partially done. And we're waiting on, well, deliveries. A whole bunch of deliveries. Okay. So now I can try and talk through this. So what I need to do is I need a maintenance office. Now, a vehicle repair station. It comes with a couple of requirements. A couple of things it does. Okay. I'm going to start with a little one. Little one, it's cute. It's tiny. It's perfect for our size town. But there's a big one. And there's also a big one. Now, the biggest thing about the vehicle repair station is that orange box. It's a special box that comes to the vehicle repair station. And what it means is anything that, any building that interacts or sits close enough to that orange box will automatically, all the vehicles in there will automatically get repaired. Now, don't get me wrong. The vehicle repair station does have a little truck that fills up with, you know, spare parts, you know, like an engine out the back and a, and a new headlight in the front and, and, and can't, cannot forget, right, the, uh, the, the indicator fluid, that's very, very important, has all those spare parts, okay? And they will actually drive out to places and actually repair vehicles on site when they're idle or the vehicles can drive here to get repaired. But I want to have some construction offices. I want to have some construction offices. I want to have a lot of construction offices and I want to make sure that the vehicles are always being repaired whenever they're idle. Because I'm hoping to keep them busy most of the time. I, I don't want them breaking down because they're going to be construction vehicles. They're probably going to be out in the sticks, out in the boomies. So I prefer it if they were fully repaired at all times. So we're going to put down one of these. Now I'm going to go for the biggest one possible because it has the biggest orange square. Then I need to get a few things. Uh, one, we're going to go construction industry. And currently I have our little construction officers. Yep, these little guys. Uh, they support four vehicles. And I'm allowed seven of them. Seven of them for free. So I have 28 vehicles total. That's all I have access to. Which has been the bane of my existence for such a long time. So I want to uh, upgrade that with a uh, construction office. And uh, they come in the size of, well... 6, and 12, and 16, and 24. Now, realistically, 12 is a sweet spot. It's the right price for the right amount of vehicles. But 24 is twice as much. So I want to put one of these. Uh, can I turn back on the grid so I can make sure you're as lined up as I can get? Uh, you, oh, there you go. There's, the, there's this, the, the little turn. I want to put you here. 
to get that building to light up orange. If that building lights up orange, that means anything that, uh, any vehicle in here will be auto repaired. I wanna put you there. And then right beside you, I wanna put another one. There. And then right beside that, I wanna put another one. And then right beside that, I wanna put another, another one. Uh, cool. Then, you are gonna need parts to live in, okay? You're gonna need things like mechanical parts, you're gonna need spare bits of steel, you need fabric to repair the cushions on the chairs, all sorts of things. So what I wanna do is general cargo, a warehouse, the ETBT warehouse, the tiny whiny warehouse. And I wanna put this Uh, there. As far out of the way as possible. Because I'm going to be putting in another construction office. Another construction office. Here? Okay, I want to put a construction office here. And I can put one here. Can I put something in that area? Uh... No. No. Okay. All right. Worth a shot. Okay. Can I make sure? Because I didn't see whether you lit up orange. So I need to make sure. Very, very important. Uh, yes, you light up orange. Okay. So I want one there. I want one here. And I want one here. And I want one here. Cool. So each one we're going to call the 25 vehicles. It's 24, but we're going to call it 25. So that's uh, 100, that's 200, that's 225 construction vehicles. Which means in theory, providing they're all filled out and they're all manned, uh, I should be able to get things done much quicker. It does mean I'm going to need a whole lot more resources and I'm going to be burning through a whole lot more resources, but we'll cover those one at a time. Next up, distribution offices. Now distribution offices come in um, a small one, which has five vehicles, a medium one, which has 12 vehicles, and there is a large one, but I don't have access to a large one yet. Uh, me, personally, want small ones. Because the distribution offices, it's not so many how many vehicles you have, uh, but how many connections they have. If we put you here and you here, they're also on that orange line, so they're also going to get auto repaired all the time. And I look at the uh, wrong button, all the wrong buttons. The you fuel rats. Uh, did you ever visit the hospital? Did you? Okay, the fuel rats. I am already using 12 out of 20 connections for just the fuel rats. They're mainly doing fuel. They're also doing chemicals to here and they're selling food in Rusky. Uh, yeah, they're selling food in Rusky. Uh, but we're already using a lot of connections. Now, I'm going to have two distribution offices as part of this build because while well, I'm going to have a whole lot of supplies that need to be brought in, you know, into this warehouse and into stuff down here that we just haven't built. So it's going to give me a chance to bring in fuel and bring in a whole bunch of other things. Okay, uh, next up, I need some roads. I'm going to bring a tiny little road out here and then we're going to bring you as far this way as possible to about here. Okay. I need to have some basics. Uh, trash, we, we, we know about trash. Everything produces trash. In the case of this building, it is going to be the workers in this building are going to produce trash, and you are going to go for it. I don't know why you didn't light up, but uh, you should light up. Oh, I have no idea what that says, because it's a word annoying. 86 meters, perfect. All right, so we're going to put trash right there. Uh, also, I need two houses, people, 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 people. Uh, I need to put a bus stop. We're going to have to bring people in, so we're going to put a bus stop right there. They can walk the 100 meters to there with no problem. And that means... Nope. So that's where that road connects. And that's where that road connects. Okay. Have another roads for the outside. Not worried about the roads for the outside for the right at the moment. Uh, what I am worried about is picking up this whole thing. So I want to go to clone. We're going to copy all that. We're going to come over here. And... Rotate you back around, and I want to line up preferably with the center road. And this is why I built, uh, I bought a couple of extra dump trucks to remove this whole hill. Uh, I, oh, yeah, remove the whole hill because I didn't want the hill in the way. Because I need to move this back a certain amount from the main road because I still have a few things I need to fit in. Uh, I want to fit in the other things first. 
do, I do. Okay. Alright. Do we? Cool. Alright, uh, currently we've been using these storage containers. Now, these storage containers, they work. Ooh. Alright, can I enable this? Uh, can I enable that? Uh, can that please be built? Uh, that road can go back into there. Uh, you hopefully have a roller on the way. Hopefully. Because I can't do the other road until that's done. And you need the asphalt machine, as do you. Okay. Alright. Uh, back to... Back to, back to, back to, back to these guys. Okay. The storage boxes. Uh, we have... Do, 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 uh, general cargo. We have storages. Uh, we have... Nope, 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 nope. That one. Open storage free. It was in the right price bracket, okay? It was at the right price, and that's why I bought it. But I could have open storage small or open storage medium, much like this one, which has a crane above it uh, for loading and unloading. Yep, Choo Choo Storage has a crane. Ooh, speaking of storage, uh, can I increase Choo Choo Storage up to 20%? Cool. All right. Uh, so we could have storage. We could have more storage. We could have more storage for more things. You're sitting there, bugger. Uh, I just realized that I canceled a whole bunch of these train tracks because I wanted you uh, to finish off the ones I needed first. All right, so uh, I would really like to have a whole bunch of storages with the cranes to help load and unload trucks faster, okay? It's gonna help us out. Uh, okay, you did waste separation. Uh, waste separation education. So this is the one that I need to do to say, citizens, following this, citizens will sort waste into specialized companions. That's the research I need to do for you. Uh, you could do train distribution. Cars for all citizens. We're not getting cars anytime soon. Sure, we're getting a railway distribution office. It's way, way, way down the list. But yeah, we'll, we'll just get the research done. Uh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so you need to fill up your internal buffer first, and then you'll have clothing in here. Uh, I have 1% unemployment, which is fine. Uh, this is gonna get built, and this is gonna get built. Uh, you have access to trash. You do, 122 meters. I have no idea if you have access to trash. That's gonna be a whole separate problem. Uh, doesn't look like you do, and you should, but it's not lighting up, so we'll have to see. Uh, I might need to put in more houses. We'll, we'll come back to that problem. All right. Uh, we might need to enable booze or food. Actually, let's do clothing factory number two over booze or food. Yeah. Set you to low priority, because I'm not in a rush. And I'll set you to 10 workers. So that way, hopefully, workers go do something productive rather than stand around here and wait for materials to show up. Uh, this is very expensive with the sheer amount of concrete and gravel it needs. Mainly the bricks. The bricks is what's been hurting us. Anyway, back to storages. I want to have bigger and better storages. That's, that's the part that I'm trying to get to. So... I want general cargo. I want to have uh, open storage medium. And you also come with a train connection, which is going to be very handy. I want to put you here. Let's go with. Uh, and then I just want to confirm uh, concrete waste based railway. Yes. I can definitely get that train track out. In fact, I can get that train track out with room to spare. Okay, we're going to remove, whoop, whoop, uh, nope, I'm going to remove that, and I'm going to put your friend about three tiles further forward, then I'm going to grab a bit of train track, uh, and go from here to here, brilliant, brilliant, perfect, okay, so I now know where you need to go, and that means we can come back to this, we can say, oh, 
and oh nope nope definitely not uh, i want to copy just this not the whole map all right i want to put this uh spin 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 uh i want to put this uh turn on the grid about here okay okay so with you in place i want to plug the middle road in there uh and then i want to instantly turn that to gravel uh i want to cancel that road so i can turn that to gravel and cancel that road and turn that to gravel and we're going to okay that and okay that uh, yeah we can okay those i think okay these other dirt paths i want to have this come up to about here and then we're going to put on a nice 45 degree corner uh oh, corner the bigger here's the road can i um, oh. Uh, there, about there, and then we'll make a, a bigger sweeping corner, uh, to there, and we'll come out to about here, and then a nice big sweeping corner again, uh, yep, and then we're gonna run this up to here, and then another big sweeping corner, and then over to here, big sweeping corner, yeah, that should do us. And then down to here. Sweeping corner to here. And beautiful. Okay. All right. Now, uh, one thing that I don't have in here, which I do need to build, is going to be technical service. I need a technical service office. Uh, you are eight vehicles, four vehicles. That's the one I want. And I'm going to dump you... Yeah. Okay. We just need something basic. Uh, you are just going to have snow plows in you. No garbage trucks. No nothing else. The absolute bear. That's what I was waiting for. Okay. All right. Before the winter takes hold. Uh, can I do gravel? Okay. There's a join somewhere. There. Okay. Can I remove that join? Okay. Now I'll do gravel. Uh, okay. There's another join over here. I already had a look around, I didn't see any of them. Okay. Um, no join in here. No, all right, so hopefully now, if I do that, it does the whole thing. Beautiful, okay. Can I do this as high priority, this as medium priority, and we're gonna start you off. You as super duper high priority, okay. All right, next off I, nope, next off I need to uh, crank the game in high gear, we're in high gear, and I need to set up a gas station. I want a gas station with a one way. Uh, and we're going to be putting you here. Okay, we're going to put a simple dirt road into there for now. And you will eventually get plugged in here with some sort of connection. I don't know what. It'll probably be a, a one-way road of some sort. I want to put you here. Oh. There. And then another one here. And then I want to remove that. And... Cancel railway plays that, and I want to put you here and you here. Okay, these will eventually have roads that hook into there, and just so I don't forget, we'll put our train track to here, and then you will plug into that train track, and you'll plug into uh, that train track, and you'll plug into that train track. It does mean only one train is going to come in here at a time, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm not planning on needing multiple trains, I hope. I hope. All right. So, I need to get this built. Uh, we're going to gravel the roads. We're going to gravel the outside road. I'm actually going to tar the outside road. And this is going to take a little bit of time, which is fine. So, coming into winter, you know, it's when not a lot happens anyway. Meanwhile, uh, you and you are both being built. We're going to crank up your priority. Uh, high, medium, medium. Uh, you are also being built. Can I change it from low to medium? No, low. You're not super important. No, we have room for workers. Uh, we do have clothes in here now, which now means I need to go to this office, which is loading clothes from Rusky. We're going to stop loading clothes from Rusky. I'm going to start loading clothes from, uh, Lycan Gruel. Yeah. 
and your like and stock warehouse, which is sorry, uh, this one. I need you to unload food, hose, electronics. Correct. Okay. So, uh, turn off the grid. All right. So, this is going to get at least the roads built. This is going to get uh, hopefully all the bits and pieces tarred, which means we can fill in the middle road, which means we can turn it into gravel too. Uh, you still building. So I need to have you finish before I can tar the next road. Oh, we just tar it straight away. Why don't I do that? Well, it's going to finish doing the gravel and turn it straight into asphalt. Works for me. Okay. Uh, all right. So this should take a little bit of time. Uh, when I say a little bit of time, a fair bit of time. Uh, this should take a while, but I also need to plug in a lot of services in here. We're going to need a couple of things. I also need to... Oh, I should probably double check each one of these. Pick them all up and back down. Just to make sure nothing has slipped out of range. Like, it all looks good, but also it's all right on the edge. Like, that, I'm, 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 I, I think it's in range. Here you came from me. Uh, I put you over there and remove that. Uh, so you complaining about this road? Uh, can I cancel road? Uh, Can't do that. Oh, oh, no. Okay, try and get you to go straight and then go over there. Okay. Alright, and it obviously wasn't your fault, but you got moved anyway. Uh, now you won't auto get repaired, and that's perfectly fine. You're gonna be for snowplows, just snowplows. Uh, can I enable that bit of construction? So, uh, that's going to take a minute. That's going to take a, a long minute. Uh, the train tracks are still going to take a minute. Yeah, I have no idea where you are. Uh, where are you on this quest? Oh, not bad. You're getting close to the end. And you're relatively quick, so it shouldn't take too long. All right. Uh, that's getting built. Uh, research has happened here. Yeah. And is happening there. These are being built. Uh, services. That's what I had to do. All right. Services. I need a couple of services down here. First thing I need to do is an electrical. I need to put the electrical in a spot where it's going to reach everything, which looks like it's right about there. Okay. Uh, you're obviously not plugged into the road yet. Oh. Okay, try again. Uh, electrical face that away. Okay. So I need electrical. On top of that, I need to have a water and sewage because if I grab this and I hover it near near the town, we can see it needs electrical, water, and sewage because people work there. Turns out they get thirsty. So what I need to do is grab a pedestrian path. I'm going to have this just hook straight into there. Uh, does that ruin that? Let's mark it for unconstruction. Okay, I want it on construction. All right, uh, we're going to do plumbing. We're going to do the sewage first, because sewage is always the hardest. And uh, I artificially flattened all this terrain. So it's at 14.33 meters. 32 meters. It's all at the exact same height, roughly. Uh, so we may or may not have a problem with sewage. Uh, can I put you... Uh, let me just put you here. And then can I put a sewage tank, which is only getting sewage from the middle building. That's all it needs to touch. Uh, I don't expect us to be building anything else around this. Uh, so I'm just going to put you there. Now, do you plug in is the important question. 
Yes. Cool. Alright, uh, if you plug in, we're then going to go from there to our last series switch, which was here, and other infrastructure in the way. Uh, okay, can I require this proper slot? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'll do me. Okay, uh, we're going to plug that in there. Now that looks like it's connected. It is. We're going to say okay to that. Alright, uh, water, water's way easier because it's uh, under pressure. So we're going to turn off that overlay and make sure that you get a full path. And water's going to come in from uh, that direction. Uh, sure. And then you're going to need a water substation, which we're going to put the flip here. Uh, we're going to, as always, use the biggest, fattest pipe we possibly can. Plug you into there, you into there, and run you back to here. Okay, can I... Okay, stopping a pipe under a building is a bad idea. Uh, and then into there. Oh, yes, we're pointing okay there. Uh, we're also going to see that that's two construction jobs. So I'm going to do that. It's now one giant construction job. That's already one giant construction job. Because if it's one job, it should be faster. Theoretically, technically. Okay, uh, last thing I need to do is... Power, 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 power. I need to grab a power line. We're going to be running underground as always. And I need to come out of uh, this transformer, which we put down a little while ago, because I knew how important it was going to be, and plug that into there. Cool. All right, so our biggest issue is going to be uh, you need 100 tons worth of gravel because uh, that is one hell of a pipe. Uh, you also need uh, 350 tons worth of gravel because that's one hell of a pipe. Uh, everything else should be fairly easy. Fairly. Uh, actually, how about this road? So this road is only 500 tons compared to 1,000 for that pipe. Uh, so that pipe's going to take a minute. Uh, the paver is doing that. Uh, this still has a little bit to be rolled. Once that's rolled, uh, actually the middle one, the middle one is rejoined at this end. Uh, I put you into there, and connect the one away, it did not go away, I put you there, cool. and then I'm going to tag the middle one, go up the asphalt as well, and okay. Town, uh, no one lives here, uh, but people could live here. There's no garbage. Uh, Footpath. 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 Uh, garbage. 93. Uh, garbage. 93. Uh, 93 to 125. No. I don't like your chance of being in range of garbage. We'll come back to you in the future. You are days away being finished. And actually, you have everything on site, so this is max you out. All right, uh, you have some workers, you have some workers as well. You don't have any workers. We have zero people over the age of 21 without a flat, which may uh, too late. Okay, I was gonna click the auto, auto invite. Uh, we're just gonna fill you up. Okay, workers. I have a bunch of workers standing here, which means hopefully. I get a bunch of workers to live here, which means hopefully we can, well, get some more foes. Food's going up. Okay, so can I have you load, uh, not 20%, uh, actually, I'll turn and close as well. Let's go with 30%. Yeah, I want to sort of have some sort of equilibrium. I'm, yes, I am definitely still bringing in uh, extra crops via the trucks, but they're also picking up extra food and selling off. So, win-win. Win-win-win-win. Uh, I'm making 28 grand last month. And they're all going to the rescue border, which is probably... It's perfectly fine. It's not worried at all. All right. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to probably find a vehicle to watch and do a bit of a time lapse because there's a lot to do.
Well, we've got the second clothing factory up and running, which means we can now run you at 100% capacity. You and you are sort of uh, maxed out on workers, which means I need more workers. I also, uh, whilst we're doing that time lapse, was frustrated that there was a slightly shorter path in here. Yep, yep. Okay, uh, so you're up and running. You are removing far too many clothes. Uh, far, far, far too many clothes. Wow. Uh, okay, can I... Uh, cut that back? 48 tons worth of clothes. All right, so what are we doing? Last month, we made $30,000. What, 30,000 rubles. We did spend 80 between some vehicle imports, uh, and $10,000 worth of resources. I have no idea what the vehicles were. Uh, can I get a breakdown of that, please? Uh, economy and trade. Uh, last one. Uh, 10 grand. It won't tell me. And I know what the vehicle was. Okay, uh, but exports were... All food. You're not selling clothes, are you? Uh, Vladivostok. Uh, sell clothes, please. Okay. Um, watch this month go way up. Because you're going to sell 50 tons worth of clothes. Because I forgot to tick that box. No, that's load. Unload. Oops. Uh, can I... Move to this stop. Uh, turn around. Yeah. Can you unload all those clothes for me? Because I'd really like 125 grand. And that way you can load up with more crops. Yeah. That'll fix the money problem. Okay, all right, so uh, we're making clothes, we're making food. Food's gone up, clothes have gone down. We'll hopefully get that sort of semi-sorted in the next episode. Uh, meanwhile, this over here has five tons. So you're just about finished. Uh, order of operations. Can I do this one first? Yeah, I want that one asphalt first. Uh, we're going to set you to one work five workers yeah yeah uh and this we can set high priority because i it just needs a bulldozer to be dropped off uh we do need to build this it has an awful lot to be built uh but we also have uh substation 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 path substation uh oh come on that reset that construction job again <sighs> okay cancel path there oh we're just over uh can i no all right well let's gonna go to there we're gonna restart that construction job uh all the gravel that was there got vaporized yep uh we're gonna set you to a high priority because i want to get this done uh, can I set you to go? I want you to be high priority and underground. Hmm. High priority. Uh, continue. Yes. Okay. Uh, you're at least accessible, so you can be built from this end. Uh, this one is super high priority. I want to have this done. You're on groundworks. These two, uh, well, they're set to low priority because they require an awful lot of gravel and concrete and concrete if you noticed in the time lapse is one of my issues uh i have two concrete trucks just two concrete trucks and they're in this one and they carry 10 tons worth of concrete that's it now if i can get a couple more construction offices then it means i can buy more trucks and we seem to have fixed our vladivostok border problems because well we um uh, well, well, we're using a train now. That's the real reason. We're using a train. Uh, we're using a train to do a whole lot more imports and exports. And you guys can dump all your materials at this end to do this construction. So, 
What we have is we have uh, a whole lot of workers, an awful lot of workers that are working in an awful lot of buildings. Unemployment's at one percent, which is down to due to small child, fourteen people. So somebody can't breach you. Somebody can't reach you. Yeah. Uh, I think everybody can reach you, but you just happen to be full occasionally, and people won't. People that are close won't walk to the one further away. So, there's nothing I can really do about that, apart from building yet another kindergarten, uh, which we could do. I, I could put one right here beside the hospital without too much problem. Actually, that was garbage. Ooh, that's really tempting. We'll come back to that problem. Uh, next episode, we need to expand out the town. I have three and a half thousand people, and if we check our overlays, uh, do, do, do building properties, free flats, are they all up? Oh, no, you got a hundred, room for 104 people. Uh, some people have moved in. You have room for 19. Uh, well, we have some room for some people, but not a lot. Uh, but I need to, well, put in another shopping center. Uh, the, we can't overload the shopping center. It's very, very close to overloading as is. So that's going to be our next step. Uh, our next step is going to be a new shopping center with a new town center down here. But that's going to happen in the next episode. In this episode, uh, well, we're, we're, we're turning a profit. It might be a tiny profit. It might be a tiny profit. It might be more of a loss than a profit. But um, we, we've started mi mitigating things. And that makes, uh, well, Uncle Vlad proud. Uh, we still have an awful lot of, well, potential jobs that we can use down here. The bus stop can only support 200 people, which means if it gets up to, you know, 150, 170, I need to get buses in here more often, which means we need to um, look at other solutions so I don't end up with bus after bus after bus, back to back. Yeah, yeah, but future problems. Also, our track layer is finished, which means I need to give him more jobs. But all that and more will happen in the very next episode. Either way, I need to leave this video here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I do hope you come back for this. This is going to be... um a very very large future project which should should solve one of our construction problems not all of them just one of them yeah and you can now accessible which means this can now be built yes and then after i have power here that's one more problem solved and before i forget plug you back in yeah yeah all right i'm gonna leave it here uh, as always thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you in well the very next video all right bye